Hey folks, I've got my Craftsman, this is a 46 inch tractor, and I'm gonna remove the cutting deck here. I wanna show you how to do that. You may need to do that to replace a pulley or to do some other maintenance, maybe even replace the blades. I will say that the manual often says to remove the deck to replace the blades. You don't need to. I've got another video on how to do that real easily. I'll post the link up above. But I'm gonna show you how to take this off. It's pretty easy. First thing, make sure you've got the cutting blades off. They're, they're not engaged. I've already got that lever uh, turned off. And I've lowered the deck as far as it can go to give myself access to get underneath there. The next step is to get under here and, and get at it. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, coming in here from the left-hand side, we've got this engine pulley right here that spins the belt. And we need to take this red bracket off that that keeps the belt from slipping off. And on this Craftsman tractor, this is just a 17 inch, uh, sorry, a, a half inch socket underneath here. So I'm gonna take off this red bracket. All right, with this thing out of the way, I'm just gonna pull the, the belt off of this pulley, which is easy to do. And then I'm gonna come here to the back and I'm gonna pull out this little cotter pin type spring right here or this pin here and I'm gonna have to put the phone down to do that uh, but I'll take that off and then I'll do the same thing off of the other side and that and with that pin out we need to take this bracket or this pin that's that's holding the the, the deck up I need to pull it out so what I've done here real crude thing here just take my screwdriver here use it as a fulcrum with a piece of wood to now lift that deck up a tiny bit and then with that weight off that way I can just push this thing out. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm next going to raise the lever to lift the deck, get these arms out of the way here. But you see that black arm over there on the left side? It's simply because you can see here I push this one through the black piece. So just put that in and It'll lift right up out of the way. Next thing we gotta do is come here to the front. We're almost done here. Come to the front of the tractor and you can see we got another one of these cotter pin types there. We're gonna pry that out. That's an easy way to do it. Got it out. Come through. That does, okay. Back to the left side over here. And I should remind you, don't lose those cotter pins that we've taken out. Just like before, we've got this little pin here. I'm gonna use a screwdriver, pry that out, and then I'll just pull that cable out of the bracket that it's in. There it's off, and, and what I did was I just, with my left hand pulling that direction on the spring, I was then able to then basically pull this thing straight back through that bracket, and then this, the, the cable came right out. And the easiest way to get the spring out from there is to take one hand and pull that as far as you can this way. And then you've got plenty of room here to pull that spring out. And now the deck is completely disconnected and I can pull this straight out. That's all there is to taking the deck off. The installation really is the reverse of the removal. I cleaned off the top. What I'm gonna do is replace the spindles. These blades aren't spinning real well. I'm not gonna show you that. If you wanna watch a video on how to replace the spindles or any kind of other tractor repair, check out Buck's Small Engine DIY channel. The guy's a small engine expert and he's got tons of these videos. But thanks for watching, good luck. Subscribe and like if, if this is helpful, thanks.